Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Thursday, July the 28th. Today is Millie's first birthday, so I'm going to make her some cupcakes for her birthday. I found these. I actually didn't buy these recently. I bought them a long time ago, and I forgot about them, but they're so cute. I had them down in my cabinet. I was actually cleaning out my pot and pan cabinet this morning because, y'all, it was a disaster. Every time we opened it, stuff would slide out. So I was like, you know what? I'm cleaning this thing out. I'm tired of it falling out every time I open it. So I organized that. I actually got rid of a couple of things. Found these because I was going to do her like a homemade cake, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to do cupcakes. That way, when it's time for her birthday tonight, when we celebrate, um, I'll just give her her own little individual cupcake. So I'm going to put these on the pan. I'm, I think I'm just going to do all different colors. No specific one. Make it cute. I'm just going to be doing this strawberry cake um, with strawberry icing. I thought that would be good and pink. It would be cute. So I'm just going to do this, of course, just by the package directions. I'm going to go ahead this made, get them in their pans, and get them in the oven. And while they're in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for the day. Look at this sweet little birthday girl. I was in here making our lunch, so I put her in her walker with her bottle and she fell asleep. Precious girl. What you got, Billy? What is that? You have a bottle? Oh, it's got a button too. Mm. All right, so it is around two o'clock now. I got her cupcakes made, we've had lunch. So now we're just waiting. We're gonna grill some steaks tonight. I think we're gonna do mac and cheese, fries, and I bought some cucumbers. We'll do some cucumbers or even salads. We can do salads on the side. But anyway, I'm walking back down to storage. We walked down there earlier looking at it. Um, we have like a little storage area. It's got heat and air conditioner in it. So it's like perfect for food storage. Um, but it's also got like a lot of our pitcher storage, which when I came back up, I brought pictures. Like when I go to clean stuff, if there's ever old pictures laying around, I'm gonna look at them. So I brought some up, look at this. That's a picture of Kylie when she was about two years old, y'all. I think she looks just like Everly. So I brought up several pictures. Oh, let me show you this other one. And then this other one I found of Allie when she was a baby. I think she looks just like Millie. So we were just reminiscing looking at old pictures. And now I'm going to take these back down to storage. Um, Josh is eventually going to get all those storage buckets with all the pictures and things in them and put them. Because we have like a loft in our garage where we can put more storage. I think we're going to do that. And then these cabinets right here that came out of our kitchen if y'all remember that we took our kitchen cabinets out several months ago and put new ones in some of them fell apart but the ones that we could keep josh is going to put in our basement storage for more food storage so anyway i'm going to walk down there real quick put these pictures back and i'll kind of show you the storage area while i'm down there so you can see what i'm talking about so here it is back here eventually i would love to do something with this like i would love to um just make all of this concrete i would love just to have a concrete path back here kind of like a little patio area in our backyard to sit at um, and plus it'll keep our feet from getting so dirty and this kind of just looks awful but anyway so here it is as you can tell I still got a lot of cleaning that needs to be done we do have some food up there and um, Millie's bassinet needs to go up in storage that's some trash Here's the bucket I got the pictures from and put these back. So anyway, I know the lighting is terrible, but um, like all of these boxes here can go up in our garage loft for storage. We can get rid of so much stuff right here um, and put it away. That way I have more room. We have two more shelves there, 
just really would like miscellaneous stuff except for that I've got some mason jars up there but anyway so you can just tell that we can we can still do a little bit of work to it to make it nicer this island came from our last house um, one of our previous pastors actually made this island out of an old dresser it's absolutely beautiful I need to clean the top of it but it's gorgeous and I definitely didn't want to get rid of this piece and we didn't have room in our kitchen here for it so we put it in here this whole box is just giveaway stuff. So I'm gonna try to come down here soon and just wipe all of this down. This is our old pantry that was in our kitchen before Josh built ours. So I have all of this room for storage and then we have our deep freezer right here. So I've got a lot to work with. I just need to come down here and clean it up. It's a pretty good size to work with, but since we moved in, we've we, there was much more stuff in here than this. We've just been putting boxes in here. It was a dollhouse down here and Josh has slowly been cleaning things out and hanging shelves. So eventually it'll be completely ready for me to use. I mean, I can use it now for some stuff. But anyway, my dream is I would love to have a freeze dryer sitting over here. Not a medium, not even a large one, but just a small one. I would like a little small freeze dryer to freeze dry some foods. Not only for storage, but, only, but for our family too, just to enjoy some different treats from time to time. So... Don't know if that will happen, but that would be nice if I had one down here. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all the storage area down here. And then here a little bit, we're going to get some steaks done and do birthday cupcakes for Millie. Oh, in the clip earlier, I showed y'all she was pushing around her little walk behind thing. That's one of her birthday gifts. And I'm going to show you a book that she got, which is super special. It'll be a super sweet little keepsake. I'll show that to you when I go back upstairs. So it has to cool down eventually out here, right? That's what I keep telling myself. It's got to cool down eventually. Okay, here's the little book I was telling you about I found on Amazon. It says M is for Millie. I thought this would be the perfect little first birthday keepsake. It says Dear Millie, and it has a sweet little note there, and then love. And I'm going to put um, Mom and Dad there and the year and all of that. But it's just A from Z, just saying something sweet about her. I just thought that was too, too cute. Are you the kitchen helper, Nat? Yeah. You gonna do the mac and cheese? Mm, good? Good. These two are New York strip, right? Mm -hmm. And then sirloins. Yep. And then little sirloins right there. Yep. Cute little plates. phone they've had and then this little phone came with her little um what's it called like walk behind toy there's a little front to it so you can actually take it apart for when they're sitting in the floor and then when they start walking you can put it on there so are you having fun with all your toys i think this little phone is one of her favorites say hello now you just to bang them together huh <laughs> Millie was so cute trying to eat her cupcakes. So when she eats, she takes these two little fingers and picks up her food whenever she eats. So she done the same thing with her cupcake. I was expecting her to like really dig into that thing, but nope, she took her little fingers and ate it so properly. 
It was just the cutest thing ever. But anyway, we let her finish up her cupcake. Got everything cleaned up. I put her straight in the bath and got her cleaned up. And then also gave a couple other kids a bath while I was giving baths. And now they're outside playing for just a little bit. It actually looks like a storm maybe getting ready to come through. It's kind of cloudy out there. But hopefully not because Josh and the two older girls just left to fish for a little while. So hopefully it's not going to storm on them while they're gone. I think Millie had a good first birthday. Everybody has just spoiled her and loved on her all day. She's got to where she'll come to my feet wherever I'm standing and she'll pull up on my legs and just stand there waiting for me to pick her up. I didn't get to go back down there and work in the storage anymore. Hopefully I'll get to do that. I may actually go do that next few minutes if it's not going to storm. I may try to go down there and just clean a few things up. But anyway, I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us again. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. <laughs> and as always, we'll talk to you in the comments. Bye. Blow us a birthday kiss, Kimbo kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Oh, she gave the camera a kiss. You're so precious. Oh, she wants to give you a kiss. Here, give you a kiss. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Mwah.